Hi, Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning. Salam sejahtera to everyone. Let me just, uh, I have, okay. All right. So, uh, let me move on to the tutorial 1.11. .11. And this tutorial is coming from uh, Stephen J. Chapman's book, Problem P1-21. Right. So, this is going to be the last question that appears in the topic 1 of uh, our uh, discussion. So, we have already finished topic 1. But this is the last question that I forgot to discuss you guys. So, now I'm going to discuss this uh, question. So, that uh, this is actually, this one is actually related to linear decimation, which is the last part that we have learned. So, okay. So, let me just uh, firstly read again the question. Just a linear machine has a, volt, a magnetic flux density of 0 0.5 Tesla directed into the page. A resistance of 0 0.25. This resistance could be the resistance coming out from the battery because battery also has the resistance, which is internal resistance of the battery. Okay, and then the length of the bar is uh, L equals to 1 meter and the battery voltage of 100 volt. So that's all of the information has been given for us to answer three questions three questions here but basically uh, this is basically the figure uh, that is that represents uh, what what is described in the question right we have a uh, hundred volt of voltage supplied to this bar okay this voltage supplying this bar with uh, a current then if we switch on this a switch current will be flowing through this uh, wire and then pass through this bar then go back to the battery right so b is 0 0.5 tesla okay uh, right so i just uh, actually i have already rewrite uh, again this uh, figure in my notes here as you can see so this is a more detail eh? okay this is what happened this is the situation uh, during we switch on the switch then current will be flowing so basically in question one what we want to know is what is the force at starting and so what is the current at starting meaning that this uh, we want to find the force and current first during the starting condition so basically uh, once we switch on the switch so current will be flowing uh, pass through this resistor first right so when it pass this resistor and it is not yet passing this bar so meaning that uh, there is no movement of this bar yet so there is no force induced at that instant we are talking about at that instant of switching all right so at that switch instant of switching uh, the first thing first we we can calculate the uh, starting current all right so to calculate the starting current, so we use the expression of BB equals to IR. So simply using this equation, then uh, we want to find current, right? So current is VB divided by R. So at this instant, there is no induced voltage. So induced voltage in this case is zero, all right? Induced voltage is zero. But we want to find the starting current, which is, we have the VB, which is 100, divided by R, 0 0.25, then quarter of 100 is 20. Sorry, not quarter of 100, 4 times of 100, which is 400 ampere. So, 400 ampere of current, which is the starting current, uh, that will be drawn by this bar okay and then at that instant once the current is is drawn by this bar which is the current is flowing through this uh, uh, bar what happen is the force will be induced so in which direction actually the force will be induced it depends on the the direction of the b all right so we know that using the right hand rule we can identify or we can determine the direction of the force in this case you know that the force is induced to the right direction okay 
so the force will be induced to the right direction so uh, the second thing they would like to uh, find in this the first question is the force so once the current flowing in that bar the force will be induced meaning that we can just use f i l cross b and then in this case L and B is actually perpendicular to each other. So we can just write it as uh, I L B. Lah. So I L so B. Then, so we have already know that the current is 400 amperes. So just substitute the value of 400 for the current. And then L is uh, 1 meter as given by the question. And also B is 0. 5 tesla so uh, the force is half of 400 which is 200 newton so that is the initial force acting on that bar once the current is flowing in that bar because at the instant of uh, uh, during when current is flowing in a bar what happen is if, if you place this bar inside the magnetic field so this bar will be uh, moving because of the, of the force that is induced on this bar so it will be moving at the speed of at the velocity of v actually so that that are the values that we want to find in the question number one and then second one is okay uh, the second one is we are going to find the no load steady state speed eh? as the question two okay what is the no load steady state speed of the bar okay you want to find the no load steady state speed which is vss 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 of the bar goes to what okay that is the second thing okay this right so the no load steady state speed of this bar can be found from the equation vb vb is for battery voltage it goes to e in goes to v b l why vb equals to e in because uh, after the bar it speeds up and until sometime it will reach the steady state speed so at that time when it reached the steady state speed actually uh, once this force is acting and then there will be velocity velocity in which after some time that velocity will reach its steady state speed so we have this force and then the uh, voltage okay so we have voltage induced at steady state speed okay this voltage is the same as the battery voltage this is what we call a uh, as balance condition so at balance condition at steady state speed the uh, the induced voltage through across that bar is equals to battery voltage so that is why we we are going to use this equation to find the v which is the steady state speed all right so now let me just uh, rearrange this equation the steady state speed is so induced voltage we don't know yet we don't know the induced voltage, but we know the value of vb so we can just use vb in this case uh, divided by b l we rearrange we actually just just rearrange this equation right so then VB is uh, 100, B is, uh, B is 0 0.5, and L is 1, then we get the answer for B, for question number 2, which is uh, 200 meter per second. So this is uh, steady state speed. Alright, then number three, okay, question number three, so steady state speed is 200, this is the answer, this is the answer, okay, 
So number three, if the bar is loaded with the force of 25 Newton opposite to the direction of the motion, what is the new steady state speed? Okay, what is the efficiency? Okay, firstly, we want to find the new steady state speed. New VSS. Uh, let me just use the different expression for this new steady state speed as VSS prime. All right. So we want to find the new steady state speed. For example, if we apply a uh, force, actually this this uh, we have the induced force already in that bar. The because of the current is flowing and then it will it, it, it is moving at speed of VSS initially eh? and then after some time okay uh, we apply the force which is load this is because of load because of load of uh, how much 25 Newton right we apply opposite direction of the force which is we apply load to the machine okay what happened is after some time it will reach a new steady state speed which is vss prime when uh when ff when ff equals to f in all right when there is another state of balance eh? another state of balance another of balance right so fl equals to f in which is we know that this is i l b again so in that case we have the new current so new current because of the uh, the applied force in it Okay, the new current. We find the new current first. So we know that FF is twenty five newton. New current is uh, FF by LB. So LNB also we know. So twenty five by one and zero point five. Just the new current that we we have uh, when when there is induced voltage in that bar so current becomes smaller in this case um, okay so new current is 50 amps right then we can find the induced voltage in that bar all right actually we want to find the uh, VSS prime, but basically uh, we, we want to find we have to go step by step. All right, so uh, Based on this uh, Equation we, we know that it will first arrive into the uh, Another state of balance and then at that time we can just find the current first Then after that when, when we get the current basically we can use that current to uh, to find the induced voltage E in which is in this case we know that this uh, machine is actually working as a motor yeah because uh, from the steady state speed then we apply the force into the uh, opposite direction meaning that this machine is actually working as a motor so in motor condition Basically, we can say that uh, this machine, let me just uh, write down in another page. So, this machine is actually uh, working as a motor. So, this is motor state. So, we know that from Kirchhoff voltage law, once we get Vb is larger than induced voltage, which is Vb equals to E in plus IR. Okay, so we can rearrange this equation because we want to find I, okay, then uh, what we do is to just uh, rearrange this equation.
because we know we be we don't know e in right so e in equals to we be minus i r okay sorry we don't want to find the current actually we want to find induced voltage okay because we don't know induced voltage at this stage right so we have already found the current we have already found the current 50 amps now we want to find the induced voltage by using that current we have bb is 100 and current we know already just now which is 50 amps and we know the resistance as well which is 0 0.25 ohms then how much okay uh, 100 minus 87.5 volt so that is the induced voltage so clearly as you can see we know that vb is 100 meaning that uh, induced voltage at that time which is motor action in this case is much more uh, lower than the battery voltage Okay, now once we get the induced voltage of 87.5 volt and we finally we can find the velocity of that bar using VBL equals to E in, right? So V, v here is actually the steady state speed at load condition, at load condition v, which is VSS prime just rearrange the equation e in over bl then uh, substitute all the values of uh, e in b 0 0.5 and l right l is 1 okay so we get 175 meter per second which is this is the v prime this new steady state speed as the previous uh, discussion uh, the initial steady state speed was uh, 200 once we apply force to the opposite direction then uh, there will be new steady state speed which is much more uh, lower than the initial steady state speed which is 175 meter per second then so finish what is the new steady state speed we have already answered we have already discussed about that now what is the efficiency of the machine under these circumstances now we want to find the efficiency to find the efficiency to find the efficiency so efficiency is basically output power divide by, divided by input power times 100%. The symbol is uh, mu. Uh, mu. Efficiency in percent is output power. So in this case, uh, if I redraw this uh, uh, the motor condition here, I can just redraw it like this. Okay, so we have the induced voltage. So this is induced voltage. This is VB, right? So the direction of current is actually from battery to the, which is clockwise direction. So that is the direction of current because this system is working as a motor. All right. So we have P out. And then we have P in. So motor, P in from battery, P out is the voltage induced. Okay. So firstly, we want to calculate the P out. Because we already know the induced voltage, which is P out is E in uh, times current. Current is 500 amps, so E in is uh, P out is E in is 87 
0.5 volt then current is 50 then we get 4375 so that is the output power uh, at this side lah at this side okay now we want to find input power which is p in this is vb times current also supplying power right so 100 by 50 which is 5000 watt lah so we can say that the efficiency can just uh, use the uh, output power for 375 divided by 500 using this equation uh, for efficiency we use this equation for efficiency times 100 percent then we get uh, about 87.5 percent so that is the efficiency okay that is the efficiency of the motor so up to this stage actually this uh, the discussion of this linear risk machine is about motor so it is not about uh, the generator action just motor action okay just uh, quite quite straightforward this uh, question so basically we can uh, also find another values in terms of loss across this resistor as well for example if you want to find the loss p loss p loss we can just use i square r right so actually uh, if we want to find the field loss let let me just uh, this is p loss let me uh, write it here as an addi additional notes for you guys p loss is i square r that is the equation of the p loss so i square is 50 square r is how much uh, 0 0.25 is it r is yes 0 0.25 so r is 0 0.25 0 0.25 so uh So how much is the P loss? 500 square square the 500 five, 50 eh, sorry 50 square 2500 times uh, 0 0.25 600 to 5 okay this is 625 loss is this 6 to 5 is uh, 12.5 percent so this 6 to 5 6 to 5 is actually 5000 minus 4 3 7 5 correct do we get the 6 to 5 yes right so we get 6 to 5 which is equivalent to uh, the rest of this uh, value 87.5 percent which is 100 minus 87.5 percent is 12.5 uh, percent of loss so when we are asked to to discuss about loss of power we can basically use this uh, can basically use this for loss calculation so loss calculation is this one right so that's all of the things about uh, linear this machine this machine related to the motor action and we have already discussed the problem P1-21 okay so I think it's up to now okay thank you right where's my button